It's Wednesday. Want to solve a crossword puzzle? I know. Let's solve the Wednesday New York Times crossword puzzle. Why not? This is Solve with Steve. I like to solve the puzzle every day. It's usually a lot of fun. Sometimes a little less than fun. Sometimes even more than fun. What's more than fun? I don't know. But let's find out. Maybe this puzzle is more than fun. Maybe it's just fun. <laughs> I don't know. Let's do it. Uh, what do we have here? Matt Fuchs and Victor Sloan are the constructors. I am Steve. This is Solve with Steve. I will be the solver. Are you ready? Are you set? Let's solve the puzzle. Sport of climbing mountains. I don't know. SAG AFTRA is the work broadcast workers union. They have the the screen right, screen uh, screen artist skills, something like that. Uh, all right, completely disoriented uh, at sea. Comes down. I don't know. Flat sign maybe a flat sign. I don't know. Uh, Fifteen is uh, across the cause of some hoarseness. I had a frog in my throat. Yes. A frog in your throat. Yellowfin tuna is ahi. I see frog in your throat like that. Cold sauces, I don't know. Straw mats are tatamis. Why do I know that? I don't know. Uh, ooh, it's, oh, aiolis are cold sauces. Yes, okay. CRISPR is gene editing and looks into cases. Could be the CIA, could be the NSA, could be the flat sign. What? Oh, to let oh, a sign at a flat. Ha ha. Uh, and what comes down as rains and the TSA looks into your suitcases. Clever. Okay. Former Mideast Alliance, United Arab Republic, as opposed to UAE, which is a current Mideast Alliance. Okay. App name for an angler. How about Ray? You go, uh, go fishing for uh, maybe. From Lausanne could be French. Par exemple. I don't know. Uh, a bit of braggadocio is a, I don't know, a, a claim. Uh, I don't know. C3 down. Uh, whoops. Here we go. First and last gift of a seasonal song. Twelve lords are leaping. Something like that. Oh, and a partridge in a pear tree. That's what it is. A partridge. Wait. No, this is it's the partridge in a pear tree. So this way we have the partridge. So we have a frog in your throat. We have a partridge in a pear tree. I think I know the theme here. Uh, providers in flight entertainment don't know. Parlor decoration, don't know. Uh, pit, is it pit a pan? That's pat a pan. I don't know. Pit, pit stop, pit. I don't know. Organa, Leia Organa is also a Skywalker. Oh no, you spoiled it. Um, Part of a return address? I don't know. To the nth power is a phrase. Classic collection from super science stories and astounding science fiction. What? I don't know. Uh, attach as a button is to sew on. The painted desert has the mesas. From those on, I still don't know. A uh, 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 boast is bag of braggadocio. Uh, providers of inflight entertainment air, air choose, air. Air, air shows are in flight entertainment. Ah, because you're watching them in flight. They entertain you. Okay. Uh, al alpinism is climbing mountains. Really? That sounds like a fake word. IRS, you send your tax return to them. It is pit a pan. I've heard. What is that? It's like a, a Christmas carol. I thought that was pat a pan. Uh, parlor decoration, gnat? I don't know. Um, I Robot. Oh, it's book from. Okay, that makes sense. I Robot. The Isaac Asimov stories would have come from magazines. Okay, fabric derived from wood pulp. Is it rayon? Really? Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! Uh, how do you finally at last uh, loses everything? I don't know. Uh, Olga Tokarchuk, I think, is the name of the author. With all one's heart, madly, totally, hotly. I'm going with madly. Despite utter contempt for. Ugh. I don't know, something at. Air quality concern would be small. Oh, spit at. I spit at you. <coughs> uh, utter contempt. Palo Alto is definitely a place. Loses everything. Goes broke. Okay, come on. There we go. Goes broke. Saxophones with modal jazz uh, would be train, as in uh, as in John Coltrane. Um, uh, what's it? Uh, um, 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 um. I say all blues is uh, is uh, is Coltrane and Miles Davis is uh, is modal jazz. All right, here we go, dude, bro. Um, tries to get a hold of is I don't know. Grabs at, yeah. Let's do that. Booty, Sorry, that's all blues. Uh, like a free ride, when you've, like a free ride when you've already paid. And isn't it ironic? Don't you think? A snake in the grass. And yeah, I really do think. Oh, Lausanne is in Switzerland. It's like rain. 
on your wedding day. It's a free ride when you're already late. When you've already paid, it's a good advice that you just didn't take. And who would have thought it figured? Okay, sorry. Uh, Sorcerer's rest uh, anticipation, rest anticipation, something. Um, a little attire. I don't know. A uh, little black dress. Largest city in New Jersey is Newark, Jersey. Fermented quality. Um, is it bear or, or bull? Maybe it's bear. Uh, having a fermented quality is... Ooh, I don't know. C35 down. What do we have? Something in the something. Restless anticipation. Something in your belly. Uh, we ate... Ah! America. Rubbernecks is... I don't know. Fruity red is... I don't know. C35 down. It's inside job, inside man. Operative, it's the person. So it's inside man or it's inside guy. Let's go with inside man. Wall Street landmark. Oh, New York Stock Exchange. See, I was too busy singing. I didn't think out loud. Uh, ants in your pants are restless in anticipation. Yes, they are whiny. Not like whiny, but whiny like, isn't like wine. Fermented quality. Okay. Little attire is a mini skirt. How about that? Or a mini dress, but I think mini skirt works. Fruity red is series. Which means, literally, it means like cherry color, doesn't it? Uh, seating on Sunday is a pew if you go to church. Rubbernecks is gawks. There we go. Uh, harbinger of danger. Danger. Uh, I don't know. Recede is go out. Maybe like the tide. Advice on a fashion blog. Don't know. Currency zone. The Schengen zone. No, the Euro. Euro zone. Finland and Malta. Finland's not in the EU, right? Or maybe they are. Yeah, they are. Uh, Euro, I don't know. It's not the EU. Um, C44 down, still don't know. Boxy Toyota Scion. Uh, a canary in a coal mine, that's what that is. Um, Asian Peninsula is Korea. Bring in the sheaves. Reap. Oh, the sheaves of wheat, yes. Euro area? Do people say Euro area? I've heard the Eurozone. I've never heard the Euro area. The one I love, is it your REM song? I don't know that one. Uh, style tip is advice. Uh, Mae Jemison, yep. Uh, LOL, when you see a funny gif, yep, okay. And clinches ices, okay. 58 down. Persistent little obsession is a bee in your bonnet. Say, I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Make a little birdhouse in your soul. The Superman most of the time is Clark Kent. Uh, prefix meaning budget friendly. Econo, as an Econo Lodge. That's gotta be amoeba. It is! So with pseudopods. Stereotypical shout out on a Jumbotron. Hi, Mom! That's usually on TV, on the Jumbotron, right? Cleans as a deck, swabs the deck. Woo! Oh, one more, okay. Uh, struck is smote. Yep, yeah, amoeba, okay. What's wrong? What did I go too fast on? Do we see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Tell me, what is the mistake? Um, I tried to go fast and I missed up, missed up, messed up. Crabs at, that looks right. I gotta spell something wrong. Euro area style tip. Gawks Creek. Inside Man. United Arab Republic. Alpinism. IRS, yeah, that's right. Patapan. Huh, what did I miss? What did I miss? I gotta go more slowly. I gotta go more slowly. I gotta catch the error. What's she? Oh, she sells seashell. Ha, <laughs> noted, noted seashell shower is she. That's a good one. Uh, Obi is the sash, yeah, on a kimono. Um, uh, crossword, crossword ease, but it's spelled right. So what is wrong here? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Alpinism, sag after, partridge in a pear tree, frog in the throat, air shows, aeolis, that's spelled right. This doesn't look right. Pat, uh, parlor decoration. Na what else? What kind of parlor? Ice cream parlor? Um, pit a pat? Is it tat? <laughs> okay. No idea what pit a pat is. <laughs> um,. So I, I was right. It wasn't Patapan. I mean, Patapan is it's it's some Christmas Carol. Uh, it's also known as Pat. It's like the alternate name or something like that. I I, I don't know. Come across that. Um, but parlor decoration for short is ta oh a tattoo. You get a tattoo parlor decoration. I mean, it is. Eh, it seems like a stretch. 
But okay, we'll go with tat is a parlor is a decoration that you get at a parlor. Okay, I'll go with that. And pit a pat means something. So let's talk about the theme and then we're totally looking that up and maybe some of the other things too. A lot of singing today. I, you know, I'm never going to say no. If there's a song I know of words. Um, so there's an animal in something. And uh, so a partridge in a pear tree. The partridge is in the pear tree. I mean, sort of. It's crossing the pear tree. So that's how we get a partridge in a pear tree. We get a frog in your throat. A frog in a throat. You have a frog in your throat. Um, at one point, Jim Henson, the guy with the Muppet Show, was like talking on some talk show, and he was using Kermit's voice. Kermit, the, I think it was Jim Henson. He was using Kermit the Frog's voice. He said, "Oh, pardon me, I have a frog in my throat," because he was doing the voice of of uh, of uh, of Kermit. Uh, then we have a snake in the grass. Is a hidden traitor? Snake in the grass. Ooh. Uh, then we come down over here. We have. Uh, you have a, there it is a bee in your bonnet, persistent little what is it persistent little obsession is a bee in your bonnet, which well, shows up in Birdhouse in Your Soul, the song by They Might Be Giants. Uh, Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet, uh, and then we have a canary in a coal mine is a harbinger of danger because if there's not enough oxygen for the canary to live, there's not enough oxygen for the miners to live. So that's what's uh, that's the idea there, right? Okay. All right, so let's. Uh, I gotta look up pit pit a pat. What in the world is pit a pat? Zoom out. Time search for pit a pat. Okay, pit a pat. Pit a pat. Definition. Pit a pat meaning. Let's just look at pit a pat. Pit a pat definition meaning. It's the onomatopoeia. It's the sound of something going pit a pat, like the pitter patter. The rain went pit a pat on the tin roof. Uh, is that a, that's really like a thing? Marion Webster is a synonym of pitter patter. I've heard of pitter patter. Usually it's the pitter patter of little feet. Uh, I've never heard of pit a pat. Etymology is imitative, so it's totally onomatopoeia. Huh. First known use, 1582. Do we get uh, a citation? We get an example, I mean. Kids definition. Pitter pat means pitter patter. I don't know. This is uh disappointing. We don't even get an example sentence. Hmm. Maybe uh let's see. Let's see if uh, word reference. Do they give us an example? UK. Maybe it's more of a UK word. The rain went pit a pat on the tin roof. Oh, if I say it with a with a British accent, it sounds a little more uh, realistic. I'm sure this is false British accent. I'm sure if you really are in England, uh, you'd be like, "What is that bloke saying?" And you wouldn't say "bloke." You're probably cursing at me. Um, no, that's uh, that's wrong. Uh, here we go. It's in the Random House Dictionary of American English. So apparently, it's an American English word. Pit a pat. Her heart beat pit a pat with excitement. No. All right. Whatever. It's a word. Dictionary.com. Her heart beat pit a pat with excitement. Thanks. Ah. No idea. Imitative gradational compound. Oh, here we go. Here's some examples. And Stempenju dissolves on his violin and melts like wax. Pit a pat is all you may hear. The history of Yiddish literature in the 19th century. Ay vey. Scolding and pushing Pitapat out before her, she closed the door with a bang. That sounds pretty good. Three times and out, he whispered as the boy's hearts went Pitapat. Now these are not uh, uh, hyphenated. Okay. Well, I like the uh, uh, the uh, dictionary.com. You earned some points there for having these examples, and they're cited. That's pretty good. Uh, and apparently, uh, Fios, Verizon Fios, has a sale. Uh <laughs> All right, British Dictionary. Ah, they actually give some uh, some some definitions. It's not just monomatopoeia. Okay. Uh, was there anything else in the puzzle that we wanted to look at? Alpinism is a word. 
I got it because it's like Alpine, but really? Is that. It looks like albinism and somebody spelled it wrong, and I wonder. Alpine. Alpine Bakery in Smithtown. Alpine Movie Theater in Brooklyn. Alpine Motors in Wontog. Alpinist. The Alpinist? Alpinismo. It's, it comes up in Spanish more than it comes up in English. Alpinism. Mountaineering. Mountain climbing or alpinism. It's in Wikipedia. Okay. I guess it's true. It's in Washington.edu. It's in Merriam-Webster. Summit Post 101. I introduced the subject of Alpinism 101. So you want to be an alpinist. An alpinist's education is not intended for, as a replacement for qualified instruction. The history of alpinism is the history of climbing in the European Alps. Okay. Alpinism. See, you learn something every day. Today I learned two things. I learned one across and one down. Bit of pat and alpinism. All right. Uh, I think that was it. There was nothing that was totally new. So Coltrane is, uh, yeah, John Coltrane. I appreciate that. Uh, some jazz. Um... Yeah, modal jazz was was uh, was was Coltrane and and uh, Miles Davis together, and uh, Kind of Blue would be the seminal uh, album that had those that I think of. And Coltrane was a side man to Miles, um, but uh, certainly because uh, he was younger then, right? He hadn't uh, hadn't quite made it that, but that that uh, I don't know if that launched his career, but certainly uh, Train had a, a career of his own, uh, not just as Miles' side man, but. Uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool to see that show up. Um, and then ironic, um, man, that uh, that album's got staying power. Jagged Little Pill by Alanis Morissette. Uh, very, okay, Euro Area. I wanted to look up that. Is that do people call it the Euro Area? I've heard Eurozone. I've never heard Euro Area. So we're gonna search Euro. Whoops, Euro. No spell Euro. European wax center. No Euro. Okay, Euro. Auctions, Euro a peso, Euro auto parts, Euro a dollar. No one calls it Euro area. Look at that. Okay, if, if it comes after whatever language that is, it's not really a phrase. Euro area countries. Countries using the. Okay, then again, if it says it at. Is a Eurozone. The Euro area, commonly called Eurozone. The Wikipedia entry calls it Eurozone. But the EU website, I guess that sounds for something. The EU website calls it the Euro area. Countries using the Euro. Second most used currency worldwide. I'm guessing the dollar is number one. Uh, da, 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 da. Officially called the year. I stand corrected. Look at that, uh, Mister Mister Steve's like, Ew, no one calls it the year area. I like, I know everything. Clearly, I don't. Okay, I act like I. Oh God, who calls it the year area? The EU. That's who calls it the year area. The people who made the euro officially, they call it the euro area. It's the eurozone. Apparently, it's not the eurozone. It's the euro area. So. Boy, I am uh, I am uh, corrected. Here we go. All EU countries are part of the EMU, Economic and Monetary Union. Twenty of them have replaced their currencies with the single currency of the euro. These form the euro area, also known as the eurozone. All of these countries, including Finland and Malta, use the euro then there's non-euro area member countries. so these are in the eu that don't use the euro and uh the uk was part of this yeah the uk was part of this uh but they brexited member countries with an opt-out denmark okay can negotiate an opt-out from any of the eu legislation or treaties 
So Denmark chose to become a member, and I guess this would have included the UK before Brexit. All right. Converges criteria, the Maastricht Treaty. All EU member states, except Denmark, because they, they made, made a deal. They made a separate deal. Okay, cool. All right. I have learned. Yes, I have. I have learned. And that's that's good. I like I enjoying it. The, the theme today was, eh, you know, eh, partridge in a pear tree. It's not really in. It's crossing a pear tree. Whatever. Um, but it's kind of good. It's blank in a blank. Or it's blank in your blank. Or it's blank in the blank. Uh, where was snake in the grass? Be in your bonnet canary in a coal mine. Snake in the grass. It's probably people complain about that. I won't. Um, yeah, it was kind of cool, the crossings there. Not not like, oh, wow, but it is kind of fun. But I got to learn things. And clearly it is called alpinism and it is called the Euro area. And uh, it is pit a pat So I, I, uh, I learned. So there you go. I had I had learned and I had fun. This was educational and entertaining. Yeah. Um, anyway, was was it educational for you? Was it entertaining for you? I hope it was. I hope the puzzle is entertaining for you. I hope my video is entertaining for you. I hope these continue to be entertaining and that you continue to watch. And I thank you for being a part of the channel so far. And if you have not yet joined, please would you do me the favor of subscribing? If it's something you enjoy, just click that subscribe button or click that Steve head right there. And I will see you in the future. Thank you very much. Like the video if you liked it, of course. You know all that good stuff. And uh, watch more of these, and I'm going to continue making them because it's something that I enjoy. Right, right. So that's it. I'm going to say this is the end. Farewell.